In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this Graco X5 electric airless paint sprayer. And this is just a little bit of a sample of how we painted this little storage building. Please stay tuned so you can see the entire process. We decided to go with this airless Graco X5 paint sprayer, got it at Lowe's, and we're going to see what we have in the box, which is pretty much that 25 feet of hose and also the sprayer. And we have the machine itself with the instructions of how to use. This is the front of the house that we're going to be painting. It's a one level story house, so should be pretty straightforward. This is the side of the house. We're gonna move everything out of the way. And the instructions has you paint like a little sample area on a cardboard. And then from there, we're pretty much using like a medium pressure on the machine. And we found out that that gave us a really good even coverage. So you basically wanna start spraying right out of the five gallon bucket. We just put the hoses in there and everything and you just set it up to the middle of the pressure. And we also bought this extension. This is like an 18 inch extension pole that comes in super handy. I would highly recommend this because since I'm paint, uh, uh, painting underneath this eave, um, it makes it so much easier versus having to go in there, you know, by hand. So, and also everything else, you know, on the side, it's just really practical. Uh, it, I think it should be something that you should carry and uh, it helps you. I mean, if you can see right here, you can paint this whole little storage house really fast. We were thinking about doing the roller and the brush thing, but this was way better. This is the front of the house. I do have a separate video that you can check out where we show how to cover the windows and the doors with plastic. So you can go ahead and watch that, watch that one there, you know, so, so you can get everything prepped. But once you have that, then you can pretty much just paint everything really, really quick, very efficient. The other tool that we have, we have like that little um, metal tool with the handle on it that helps us just kind of block out certain areas at the bottom and at the top. That way we can minimize the overspray. But you basically just wanna go back and forth with even coverage and just making sure that you cover all of the areas evenly. And this is gonna dry pretty quickly. So as long as you're applying it back and forth, kind of like this right here, we're painting the T111, so we're painting, you know, vertically in all of the seams so we can make sure that we have paint in all of those line areas. And then from there, once we do that, then we're going to paint horizontally throughout the entire wall so that way we can get a nice uniform coverage. And overall, this project came out very, very nice. This paint, uh, paint sprayer only cost me $329. I used up about two five gallon buckets and um, that only cost me about $130 each. And then just whatever the plastic and the tape. So total, I spent maybe a little over $600. And this allowed us to keep this Graco uh, paint sprayer so it was a really good investment this um, sprayer we can use it to later on you know apply like a sealer any kind of paint interior exterior and it definitely helps you to get get it done super fast and very efficiently and so we're just basically making sure that all the areas are covered 
And this is the final results of painting this storage building. You can tell right here, it just came out really beautiful. Even coverage everywhere. Just looks so much nicer than the regular color it was before. This is the side of the house as well. Just overall super happy, very pleased with everything. This is something you can do yourself. If I can do it, you can do it. You don't have to hire a, a special painter and pay thousands of dollars. It literally took us two days, two afternoons to do all of this from start to finish. So this is something that is, is a nice DIY project. And uh, so yeah, I hope you like this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We're going to be uploading a lot more videos of different things that we do around the house. So that way you can see how to do things yourself. May God bless you.